How can self-employed expats save money on their U.S. taxes? If you're self-employed and living abroad, while you qualify for the foreign and income exclusion, you still would have to pay self-employment tax. Now, there are ways to optimize for this if you have a certain threshold of income. I'm Vincenzo Villamina, CPA and founder of Online Taxman. We are a boutique tax firm that helps digital nomads, Americans living abroad with optimizing and filing for U.S. expat taxes. So let's get to it. Self-employed means that you are subject to 15.3 of self-employment tax. Self-employment tax essentially is Social Security FICA tax for people that are self-employed. Now, you have to file if you earn over $400 in self-employed income, whether you get a 1099 NEC or whether you're self-employed from another contractor outside the United States, if it's over $400 in self-employed income, you have to file. So you essentially would file and pay self-employment tax regardless if you qualify for the FEIE foreign income exclusion. So how do you optimize? Let's look at an example. All right. Let's say this individual has $140,000 in net profit and he has to pay this 15.3% self-employment tax. It's over $21,000. And then of course he also has to pay around 30K in income tax because you have the $110,000 or so for an income exclusion and he's at 140. So his total tax is roughly $29,000. Now let's say this self-employed person converts his LLC to an S Corp or he just opens up an LLC and makes it an S Corp. All right, what would happen then? Then he would take a $60,000 salary. That salary essentially would be a W-2. He would have to go and get payroll, et cetera. But what would happen would be that he would actually save on that Social Security and Medicare tax, that self-employment tax of 15%. How? Because he would not have to pay that on the rest of the income. So the $60,000 salary is subject to that 15.3%. That's roughly 9,000. However, the $80,000 remaining amount would be a distribution. And by being a distribution, it would not be subject to that self-employment tax. And of course, it would still be subject to the income tax of 30,000 that's over the 110 FEIE. But again, what we're looking at is basically only 9,000 as opposed to 21,000. And he would have a savings of over $12,000 in this example. So again, if you earn over a certain threshold, roughly I put it around $40,000, $50,000 of net income, you should seriously think about doing an S-Corp, irregardless if you live in the United States or abroad. This is a great tax saving strategy. If you have questions, book a consultation with us. We'd be happy to help.